Hello, my name is David Johnson. I'm currently on the flybridge of the 2019 San Lorenzo SL106. This is the Honeypot. Honeypot has a LOA or a length overall of 106 feet. She has a beam of 23 feet, three inches, a draft of six feet, six inches, and she has the MTU V16 2000 M96 main engines, which have very low hours. They're just a little over a thousand hours, which makes this boat very desirable. When the first owner of this boat was taking delivery, they specified the upgraded interior with an additional cost of $750,000. This boat is well known for its layout. The Honeypot has five staterooms. You'll find a on-deck master that has huge windows letting in a lot of natural light. And then on the lower decks, you're gonna find four staterooms that allow for accommodations for a total of 10 guests. The first area that we're gonna take a look at is the flybridge. Looking aft, right away, you're gonna notice that there's a beautiful wooden handrail with a glass partition beneath it that allows you to see through. You aren't having to look through a stainless steel handrail. You're gonna also find uh, one very large sofa and three lounge seats. Moving forward, we find ourselves underneath the hardtop. This is a wonderful al fresco location. You've got a table that can easily accommodate 10 guests over to the port side is a clever convertible bar. The countertop is able to slide fore and aft to give you access to a nice stainless steel sink with a cutting board for, you know, cutting up some lemons for a drink or prepping some food or something for the barbecue. Forward of the bar is a big observation area. On the opposite side to starboard, you're gonna find the helm. A lot of what we see here ties in with what we see up on the radar arch. Not only is this boat paired with DirecTV and VSAT satellite domes, it also has recently had Starlink installed, providing you with the absolute premium download speeds. Just a few steps down from this helm is Honeypot's wheelhouse. Whether you're running the boat from up there or down here, you've got a full complement of new Garmin electronics. Those are going to complement the rest of the navigation suite that you have here. You've got your autopilot. You've even got a really cool control for all of your underwater lights, bow thruster and stern thruster controls, your main engine controls, and one of two VHF radios. There's also a spot over to the port side for guests or, or crew to join you while you're cruising along. Now let's take a look at the stern area of the boat. The first area that we're going to talk about is the swim platform in the garage. The swim platform is hydraulic, so this is a wonderful way to, to lower yourself into the water, whether you've got scuba gear on or if you're just having a relaxing afternoon. And in the garage, you have plenty of room to store a rib and a jet ski and a lot of other inflatable toys and sea bobs and anything else that you might want to bring along. The main deck aft on the honeypot is the mainstay of this design. Something that sets San Lorenzo apart from some of the other Italian builders is the fact that the sun deck is reinforced. So you do not see the support poles down here that you see on many other brands. And that's something that is really special because you have an unobstructed view when you're looking aft. Right now we're anchored in beautiful Biscayne Bay and it's times like these that you can really utilize this area. You've got the settee back there. You can take a look down on the swim platform and hang out and chat with your friends that are in the water. You're protected from the wind and the sun, and it's just a really nice area to hang out and relax and watch the sunset. All the way to port, there's a docking station. Inboard of that, there's a door that'll give you access up to the flybridge, and over to starboard is access into the engine room. The first area that we come to is the control room. Here's where you're gonna find all the main breakers for the boat. Everything is very easily laid out, a lot of good form and function in this area. Working our way forward, we find ourselves standing in the engine room. This is where we see her twin MTU V16 2000 M96 main engines. The main engines push the boat along at a cruising speed of 24 knots and a max speed of 26 knots. Outboard of the main engines, you're gonna find two Kohler 65 kW generators. We did spend the entire day at anchor and you know one of the areas I want to point out is this area right here. Up on the bow, you not only have your ground tackle, this is also a really nice place to hang out and relax. You've got the settee with the nice table right in front of you. 
Now that we've taken a look at all the exterior spaces, let's take a look inside. The first place that we're going to start is the main salon. Here is where you notice the beautiful Marty Lowe interior, upgraded in every way. Looking at the seating area first, we see the beautiful Paolo Lenti full-size sofa. To the port of that, there is a high-low TV. And working forward to that, you notice that there is a large door that slides open that provides access to the balcony on the port side. On days like this, when you have all the doors open, the light flooding in, this is the place to be. I also like this formal dining area here. It's part of this room. It's not separate in, a, in another location. It's very conducive to a really fun environment. If you're eating while that balcony door is open, you have a nice breeze coming through. You actually almost feel like you're eating outside. Before we take a look at the staterooms, follow me forward on the starboard side as we take a look at the galley. Here in the galley, we're gonna find two refrigerators, two freezers, Mealy professional galley equipment and a double sink. Two other things to point out is the wine cooler and a really nice stew prep station. Access to the crew area is off the galley, down a flight of stairs. At the base of the stairs is the crew common area. To starboard, you find the dining area and opposite the port is a pair of stacked washer and dryers. Forward of that, we find the captain's cabin as well as two other cabins with bunks. Now back up in the main salon, stepping forward on the port side, we find access to the day head. Continuing just beyond this brings us into the owner's stateroom. A lot of times when we talk about comfort on board your yacht, we're talking about your sleeping. As important as that is where you get ready. Here we have a very large walk-in closet with a variety of drawers and hanger options. As we step forward from there, we've got a really nice vanity, a place to sit, and then forward of that, we're gonna find your sleeping accommodations. We find the bed that faces forward. We've got windows on three sides. Worth pointing out to go along with all these windows is each window has its own blackout blind that is controlled by remote control. Finally, the starboard is your ensuite. This one is nicely finished with a variety of high-end stuff. From here, we're gonna make our way below decks where there are four accommodations. We're gonna start with the starboard aft VIP. The second that you step into the lower accommodations, your eye is instantly drawn to the huge portholes. There are two of these large portholes found in each one of these accommodations. There are two of these VIPs. They both mirror each other exactly. At the foot of the bed, you've got a TV, a dressing station, and then facing aft, we see the ensuite. Leaving here and working our way forward, we come to stateroom number four. This stateroom is a convertible queen, which means that the beds can be separated into two twins. Like the other cabins, at the foot of the bed, you have a TV, plenty of storage, easy walk around, and access to the private ensuite. Opposite to starboard is our final stop. This is a true twin cabin. You've got a TV at the foot of the bed, enough storage for two, and access to the ensuite. Thank you for joining me on board Honeypot, the San Lorenzo SL106 here in beautiful Biscayne Bay. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me directly.